Hi there everybody, welcome to James Larvey's Better Cooking, hope you're well, hope you had a good Christmas and New Year. Um, not going to do anything big or too fancy for you today, just going to do a quick, tasty, delicious, simple breakfast. You can have it as a breakfast or a lunch, uh, you lucky people. Uh, this is going to be very tasty, um, pumping with calories. So if you're on a diet, I wouldn't recommend this breakfast to you, but you know, it's delicious and uh, you know, you only live once. So um, I'll show you what we've got. We've got a couple of, um, well, we've got four um, free range eggs here. I've got some German salami here. This is quite decent salami I've got here. I've uh, got one gherkin, got half a clove, half a small clove of garlic, knob of butter, some double cream, and uh, some sort of pepper season over here. Um, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna do a nice, creamy, fluffy scrambled egg for you. Uh, with so obviously the gherkin, the garlic, some salami in there, with some double cream, nice, fluffy, runny, um, creamy, just how scrambled eggs are supposed to be. We're gonna serve that in a nice uh, brioche toast. Uh, you've probably noticed a lot of people around at home tend to put their scrambled eggs in the microwave. For me, that is a no-no, um, total no-no. Scrambled eggs in the microwave are absolutely rubbish and they're horrible. Um, the worst thing in the world is to microwave scrambled eggs or to even overcook them. Firm, bouncy, rubbery scrambled eggs or microwave scrambled eggs is never on the menu for me. It's, no, it's a no-no. Um, the ideal way to make scrambled eggs, the key to scrambled eggs, is to use these correct ingredients. The eggs, the butter, double cream, or this cream cheese or creme fraiche if you want to. What the creme fraiche or the double cream or does, basically not only adds flavor, gives it more richness and, um, you know, um, more creamier, it actually cools it down at the end to stop the cooking process because what it is with, you know, proper scrambled eggs cooked properly, you've got to treat it like a risotto. You can't leave it for one second. So um, we get cracking, get cooking and um, yeah, this uh, makes a start. First thing you want to do, get a cold saucepan and a wooden spoon. You don't want a hot saucepan. You don't want a saucepan already hot at all. You want to crack your eggs into a completely cold saucepan. No hob on or anything. Four eggs. For those normal eaters out there, for the average person, I'll say three eggs. But you know, I'm greedy and um, I'm greedy and I like to eat. So I've uh, got four eggs in there in the pan. Now we're going to whisk them up with a wooden spoon. All right. And now what we're going to do, we're going to get them onto a very low flame. So let's get a hop on here. There we go. Got a nice little one there. So now we put the eggs onto a gentle heat. Do not season it at all. Season it with salt and pepper right at the end on serving because if you season the scrambled eggs now, what they will do is um, they'll break the eggs down and make them very watery. I don't know if you've ever had very watery scrambled eggs. Well, you know, when you have overcooked, firm, rubbery scrambled eggs, you know how we don't like them. There's that water as well. The salt and the pepper, the seasoning will break your scrambled eggs down and you will just get a load of watery mess. So, um, season them at the end. Like I said, treat it like a risotto or homemade rice pudding. You do not leave it ever. You're always there, always constantly on the hop, stirring it, not leaving it alone. In fact, let me turn up and notch the pan. Whilst you've got your eggs in the pan, slowly cooking there, get some brioche toast. Got some nice brioche buns here. Um, I just got them from the local supermarket. Um, like you use brioche um, baps for proper burgers. Um, here I've got some nice brioche finger buns that we're gonna cut open 
you know, lightly toast and it's going to go on top of there with a bit of rapeseed oil at the end. So if I get these on the toaster now, what I've noticed with a lot of, um, in the catering, hosp hospitality and catering world, and a chef applying for a job, in a lot of places, especially in this country, when you go for a chef interview or you go into the kitchen for a trial, you know, um, one of the main, one of the first things that the head chef will ask you to do when trying to get a job is they'll ask you just to make a simple scrambled egg or an omelette or a fried egg because a fried egg or an omelette or scrambled egg are the three things that, well, and very simple things that everybody at home gets completely wrong. Take it on and off the off hob, on, off, on, on, get some more heat into it, cook a bit more, get some heat into the eggs, take it off, slow it down. If you've got to go and get your toast, you know, bring your toast to the pan, bring your toast to the plate, cut up your salami, gherkins, garlic, you know, get your cream, your butter, whatever, you know, take it off the heat. There we go. Now our scrambled eggs is now off the heat. Now what we're going to do now is we're going to finely dice our, well, we don't want it too fine. I don't want a too finely diced gherkin here because I do, you know, it's nice to have a bit of a bite. So we're going to just cut the gherkin into four like that. There we go. Me personally, I'd like to have it quite, quite chunky, quite rustic. You know, I don't just, you know, want to have gherkin pulp in there. Um, you know, get some chunk into there, some bite, some flavour. I want to taste the gherkin. Um, I've got some finely diced garlic here. With the garlic, I do like to, you know, as you can see here, I've cut it quite fine. Fine garlic here. You should cut, cut your garlic fine, really, with whatever you're cooking with any recipe, because you know the last thing you ever want is a big wedge of garlic chewing on. Now, we're going to add the knob of butter in. Throw it all in. Scrambled eggs aren't cooking at all at the moment. They're half done. So we've got your gherkins, your garlic, your knob of butter in there. The gherkins and the garlic are going to add the flavour. The butter's also going to add the flavour, richness, and it's going to give it a nice shine. So, what we do now is get this German salami. This is great salami. Um, got this down the mar the local market today down the road. And cut this up here. Cut them into sort of chunky cubes like that. Turn it round. You've got salami strips there, right? In they go. Now we're going to get our scrambled eggs back on a slow low heat, back on hob, very low. And then at the end, we're going to add a little drizzle of double cream. And uh, then we're going to season it, get it on the toast, and uh, we're going to give it a try. Right, now we go in for the double cream. The double cream also gives it lovely flavour and richness, just like the salami and the butter and the egg yolks. But what it also does as well is it cools it down, stops the cooking process. Right, now we season it with salt and pepper. So, touch the salt, grind off that pepper, give it another stir, like I said, do not leave it. Scrambled eggs take me back to my childhood. My dad is, um, my dad is a chef by trade, very good chef as well. He's had restaurants in Spain, he's got a lovely country pub restaurant now in the countryside in rural Wales. He's a great chef, and very good at what he does. And when I was a little boy, I remember I, um, I used to be in love with his scrambled eggs. I can remember this when I was little. And uh, Dad's scrambled eggs um, on a weekend with an English breakfast was always so exciting. And I thought, how does he do it? Now, you know, being a chef myself, I know. And um, Dad's scrambled eggs were always the best. He always made great breakfasts. No one scrambled eggs and matched my dance, and um, I guess I've got that from him. His breakfast great, right? Turn the gas off. Get a nice plate, large plate. What we've got here, I've toasted some nice 
brioche finger rolls, just lightly toasted, no need for any butter, because scrambled eggs are as rich as, you know, well, rich enough. There we go, right. As you can probably see, can you see how nice, fluffy, and creamy that scrambled egg is, you know? From cooking it in a microwave, uh, to overcooking scrambled eggs, to doing it properly. You know, the, the, the results are night and day. Look how fluffy and creamy and rich that scrambled egg is. So, probably couldn't see it that well on the camera there. Quite dark here in this kitchen. Now, just start pouring your nice, creamy, rich, salami, garlicky, gherkiny, fluffy, buttery scrambled eggs onto your brioche toast. I'm gonna add a little twist of black pepper. There we go. And that's it folks. That's my creamy scrambled eggs with salami and gherkins on a French brioche, brioche toast. And um, well, I'm gonna leave you folks now. Uh, give this recipe a bash, it's delicious and I'm going to go off now and um, have my tea.